member of the National Assembly Zarukian faction and chairperson of the Parliament Standing Committee on European Integration, Naira Zahrabian, will head the prosperous Armenia party list in the Yerevan Council of Elders election. Political commentator and TV broadcaster Bedros Ghazarian will be second on this list. Two parties of the Yelk bloc will form a new political alliance to run in the Yerevan municipal elections. The Bright Armenia and Republic parties, which are members of this bloc, will run in the elections to the Yerevan Council of Elders as part of a new alliance. The list of this new alliance will be headed by Justice Minister Ardax Einalyan. The preventive measure, which has been selected for CSCO Secretary Yuri Khachadurov, who is accused of breaching the constitutional order, is not an obstacle before leaving the country, Armenia's Special Investigation Service spokesperson said. Asked whether this means that the incumbent Collective Security Treaty Organization Secretary General may return to his duties as such, Marina Ohanjanya noted that what was said had attested to this. The Russian border guards at the Gumri Border Guard Detachment Division detained a Turkish citizen who was attempting to overcome engineering and technical means on the Turkish-Armenian border. The border trespasser was carrying a mobile phone in which there were photos and files of engineering structures and barriers that are located on the national border. He was handed over to the Armenian law enforcement agencies. A 36-year-old Russian man has been charged with the murder of an Armenian citizen in the resort town of Anapa in the south of Russia. The tourist, who was drunk, had approached the 43-year-old Armenian man who was working in a cafe. The conversation ended in a scuffle. The guest picked up a knife, stabbed the cafe worker, and the latter died immediately. The United States has imposed sanctions against two Turkish ministers. U.S. sanctioned Justice Minister Abdul Hamid Gül and Interior Minister Suleyman Soylu on Wednesday over Turkey's imprisonment of American pastor Andrew Brunson. Also, the U.S. Senate approved a ban on the sale of F-35 jets to Turkey. <laughs>